Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a makeup tutorial video for you guys and I haven't done like a full makeup video in a while and that's because usually I stick with the same makeup every day and use the same kind of stuff so I barely ever decide to do like crazy makeups and record for YouTube but I like to come here once in a while and share my makeup for the season. I really change as a person depending on the season and fall is here is one of my favorite seasons of the year and I want to take some inspo from my summer makeup but really adapt to more like dark shades and orangey earth tones that's so fall cozy vibes and that I love so without further ado let's just roll the intro and start this makeup tutorial Alright, so let's start this. I only have moisturizer on, so the first step will be to prime my face with a Bear With Me primer from NYX. Just going to spray it because it's easy and fast. And during summer I wasn't wearing any foundation, just concealer. Right now I feel it's time to be back on foundation, not because like the skin needs covering or anything, but just because it helps to give a little color to my face, I believe. So I will add the Bear With Me Tinted Skin Avail because it's very very light, so it's not like a drastic change between my summer non-foundation makeup and my fall one. This is the shade True Beige Buff. And I will add the Away We Glow and do a little mixture and then apply. This is actually my first foundation application in months. And I just want to give it a little tint and a little glow. And next I will add concealer. I will add the... I will go with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter one and this is the shade 220. So I added some around my eyes and the most critical areas that I want to cover. And now I will spray a small sponge to just blend this. Alright, so I blended the entire concealer and now I will set this with the Maybelline Lasting Fix Loose Setting Powder. Alright, so I applied a little bit just to set. I tried to make everything like a thin layer because lately I really don't like to feel like super cakey and with a lot of product. So I will jump directly into the blush right now and I'm gonna use the Stilazi Barbados Blush Palette. And since it's a fall makeup, I wanna go into the more like orange blush and I will start adding right over here on top of the cheekbone and dragging in this direction like you're dragging towards your hairline and I'll add it to the nose as well I know it looks a little extreme because I have no uh, bronzer yet and to mix it a little bit with orange I'm gonna use this shade right here in the middle top which is called the private island and just add it here more towards the center now I will add a little bit of contour. I'm gonna go with the Morphe Highlight Plus Contour Palette. This is the 8L and I'm gonna use this one here which is a little bit more grey. And I'm just adding it right below where we place the blush very gently. And on the jawline as well, dragging it a little bit towards the cheeks. Sorry, the noise of my earrings is so annoying. With a bigger brush, I will just add to the entire face a little bit of this bronzer shade to give a little more color to the face and also to the neck, although I'm wearing a turtleneck, so we are barely going to see my neck today. All right, I feel it's much more blended now, but I wanna add some contour to my nose as well with the same shade that we used underneath the nose tip because I really wanna lift it. And I usually just press the tip of the brush so it creates a line like this and then blend it a little bit and then just here a little bit towards the eyebrow on each side so you can have a tinier nose. Yeah, I really love this contour today. And with the same palette we have these highlighters here so I'm gonna use this one which is called the Cosmic which is a little bit more pink and with my finger I'll add a little bit here to the nose tip 
in a little bit here also a little bit to the top lip under the eyebrow I'm just really feeling this contour and blush right now really proud of myself and we are finished with skin so let's move on to the eyes now so I have this Colourpop brow gel right here and I'm gonna use it, I don't know why I think in fall I really prefer bushy brows I just wish they were thicker I actually started like shaving here instead of pulling the hairs so hopefully it will become a little more bushy now I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Auburn Brow Pomade Deep Brow Pomade and with a brush I will try to fill some spaces here in the same direction that we brushed just to make sure that they are a little bit more full and here I really like them to be square so I'm gonna drag it a little bit all right just did both of them really like how they turned out so now on the summer makeup I was using a lot of freckles I want to reduce I want to reduce reduce <laughs> I want to reduce the amount of freckles on the fall because it makes sense not to have as much freckles on fall so I'm just gonna add some really spaced out freckles here just to have some connection to the summer makeup and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, the Ebony Power Duo, the Brow Power Duo and since they are powder they are easy to blend when you do some kind of wrong here I'm gonna use uh, this palette that I just received from NYX I think it's one of the latest palettes they released this is the Ultimate Utopia so I'm gonna start with this one it looks a little bit more yellow on camera but it's a little bit more of a like mustard earth tone I'm just going to apply it on the lid to like half the lid and drag it here on the corner like a little cat eye and after this shade I will apply this one which is more like a burgundy one and this one will be a little bit closer to the eyelash and not as high on the eyelid then this glittery shade right here which is kind of a matcha, very light matcha shade so I'm gonna take this shade and apply underneath the inner corner here and it almost matches my hair actually my hair is in such a weird color you guys were asking on my last video how I went from purple to this gray shade that I have now and I did absolutely nothing it faded out like this which is kind of weird now I'm gonna add some cat eye but lately I've been doing the cat eye with eyeshadow instead of like a liquid liner I feel it looks more natural so I'm just going to use the black shade from the palette in a very square brush just have to put the pigment in and now instead of tapping you'll start dragging create the cat eye effect just as easy as this all right so the last thing is the mascara that i'm applying this is the i love extreme from essence it's my favorite mascara it's so chic and so good just applying it to the top and bottom lashes to finish the eyes all right so we are almost finished with this fall makeup all that i need now is to do my lips and just like my last get ready with me I told you that I was doing my lips inspired by Korean makeup because I was watching K-drama and nothing changed so I finished Itaeon class which was my favorite my favorite it's so so cool I was obsessed so I got a little depressed after I finished the last episode not gonna lie and now I'm watching records of youth um, it's also very cool so I get really really inspired by their makeup on the K-dramas because it's just so good especially the lips it's such a natural gradient so pretty so today I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette you guys know I'm obsessed with this I'm gonna start mixing this one and this one right here which are the more like light neutral shades that this lip palette has and I'll apply that towards the entire lip this will look like the base color for my lips and next I will take this very dark orange here and apply it to the center of the lips like the inner center here and I will also take this very dark brown and add it to the center as well I want to do like a nice ombre faux lip 
Okay, I'm almost almost finished. The last thing is to add a little bit of this gloss. This is the clear gloss from NYX. It's the Filler Instinct. I will just add a little bit to hydrate the lips. And we're finished. It's just as easy as this. I believe this makeup is very like easy, lightweighted and a little timeless so you won't get really bored of it during fall. I plan to wear this almost every day during fall. So yeah, let's take a closer look at it. <laughs> So that's it. I hope you guys like this makeup. Let me know if you want more makeup tutorials. So I might not be in the mood for a full Halloween makeup, but I might be in the mood for some Halloween outfits. Probably something very easy that you can put together with uh, pieces from your closet. So let me know down below in the comments if that's something that you find interest on, if you want me to do them on my next video. Also, as always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on my other platforms. I will link them all down below. My Instagram my TikTok and I'll also link my Depop because you guys ask me a lot and I'm selling a lot of stuff in there so you can check my Depop out and that's it. Thank you so so much for watching, have an amazing fall and I see you around next week. Bye guys! <laughs>